Uh, my name is Daniel Turdeman. I'm a senior writer with uh, CNETnews.com. I'm also the author of The Entrepreneur's Guide to Second Life, Making Money in the Metaverse. What excites you about current metaverse technology? Uh, I really love the idea that you know we've already got millions of people in virtual worlds, and that you know virtual worlds are now becoming a household term, and there's going to be you know even more more millions of people. Um, so I like that. I, I would like to see uh, those virtual worlds become social and open. Um, I'm I'm not a big fan of the uh, sort of the walled garden, um, but uh, but I do like the fact that you know we've got a, a very growing population. That may touch on the next thing. What concerns you about the current metaverse technology? Well, like I said, I, I am a little concerned about the whole idea of, of, of the walled gardens. I, I do see their why they exist, but uh, you know, I'm much more interested in the, in the open thing. Um, also, I think the, uh, the you know the the big companies like the Cisco and and, the, and and IBM and everything. You know, maybe maybe not IBM, but Cisco and Intel and you know companies that are sort of showing up and saying, you know, we're here and we're speaking for the industry. Um, you know, I'd like to see them be a little bit more humble. What will be the most surprising impact of metaverse technology on society within the next decade? Uh, uh, surprising? Hmm. I'm not sure it would, be, it would be surprising 10 years from now, but today if you, if you told the average person that they will have an avatar, that they will, that they will meet their relatives across the world in a, you know, rich, you know, 3D environment uh, online, you know, I think that, that might surprise a lot of people who are still sort of getting used to, um, you know, things like social networks, maybe like that. What barriers will metaverse technology never overcome? Well, I think that, that, that walled garden idea is something that is always going to be there as long as you've got big companies that have, you know, the interest in their own intellectual property and the interest in controlling their users. Um, you know, you, you have the open models like so, like Second Life, but I think that those are always going to be smaller than these, these uh, you know, well-funded operations. Um, so, yeah, like that.